So we like Broomfield. We like this area for investors. And let me tell you why. Number one, it's a very affluent community, meaning you have a higher quality, on average, a higher quality of tenant that's coming into your rental property. It's drawing affluent people, and there's a couple reasons why it's doing that, which takes us to number two. They have very high rated school systems. And tenants, families that are moving into communities, they look at this type of stuff. So if they see a very high rated school system and they're moving from out of the state, they're gonna go where these school systems are good. Broomfield has an excellent rated school system. That's one of the reasons that it's drawing affluent people in and it's propping up the rental market in a very, very strong way, which also ties into number three. It's got a lot of major employers. From the area of Broomfield, it draws employers from Boulder. It draws employers from Denver. It's a great central hub close to Boulder, close to the mountains, close enough to Denver in proximity to still be considered commutable and still be considered a sub-market of that area. But it's, it's formed a very niche market that way. It's got a lot of strong employers. Another thing, very low crime in the area as compared to some of the neighboring communities, which is a draw for tenants. A fifth be benefit is this, community amenities. As I mentioned, it's close to Boulder, which means it's close to the Rocky Mountains. People love that, easy to get up there, close enough to Denver to be able to get there, but far enough away to be more of a bedroom community uh, as it relates to that. So wonderful amenities in Broomfield with the new things that they're building and being in close proximity to almost anything that a tenant or an investor would be looking for. Negatives on Broomfield, number one, it does have a lower than average appreciation rate. Things just have not appreciated quite as fast and things are appreciating like crazy right now, we all know in Colorado. It's been a little bit lagging, not much, but just a little bit lagging in appreciation. But I think that's because it's a very solid, low risk community. It's not gonna have the fluctuations that you see in some other markets because it's stable, it's solid. If you're looking for, a st for stability in your real estate investment, Brimfield may be the place you wanna look at. Now another negative is your cap rate. Your cap rate is simply your investment rate of return. Your cap rate is lower than in some other areas. Why? Well, because prices are higher. You're paying more for the same house in Broomfield than you would pay for that same house, for example, in Brighton or in Greeley. So therefore, Broomfield has a little bit lower cap rate, a little bit lower return on your money. But again, what are you, what are you getting because of that lower cap rate? You're getting stability. You're getting less risk. So a cap rate and risk um, operate in opposite of each other. More risk, higher cap rate. Less risk, lower cap rate. And a third uh, negative is high real estate prices make affordability a challenge. It's hard to break into this market as an investor. Why? Because prices are high. It's going to cost you some money to come in. If you're a first time investor and you don't have much money, but you're looking to buy a property, it may be hard to break into this market because prices are high. But if you have the money, if you can find the property in, in uh, Brimfield, we love Brimfield. We give it a solid B plus as an area to invest in. I think it's a, I think it's stable. I think it's going to continue to grow. It's going to be great long term investment play if you have the money now and if you can afford to get into Brimfield. I would highly recommend you consider it.